What's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison between Sonnet and GPT-40. Sonnet is the new model from Claude, it is really really good and it's better than their previous model and it's also set to be even better than GPT-40. So what I did was I wrote an article using the same prompts on the same topic and these were the results in which I was able to get back. So we wrote an article on the best law schools in Georgia. And as you can see here, I use my typical SEO prompts. If you want to find those prompts for yourselves, it will be in the description below today's video and you can use it uh, in your writing. So essentially, I prompted the AI to create uh, an outline. And then from that outline, we created the full article. And then what I did was I then prompted the AI to use that information within the article. So I pulled all of the title terms, all of the H1 headers, H2 headers, and all of the keywords into uh, the text. And I told the AI to use that information when writing the content because I wanted to also test the SEO score. So this is um, Sonnet. As you can see here, I'm using the API console in Claude. If you don't know how to use this, you can watch any of my previous videos and you will see exactly how to do so. So I followed the same method. I generated an outline and then I generated a article based upon that outline and I told the AI to use the title terms H1s and H2s and so on and now we have the full article. So this is what the article looks like uh, so that we can just kind of compare apples to apples and get a bird's eye view. This is the article from GPT-40. Top law schools in Georgia. Not bad, you get a decent list. Um, I think in terms of word count this is 1400 words. And you get an FAQ at the end with some external links. Now, this is the article that we got back from Sonnet. As you can see, right off the bat, I like the title a lot better. I also think that um, I also think that it is much more of a full article. It's about 2,000 words. So just in terms of word count, it is a little bit longer. As we can see here, it just looks to be a much, much better article. It has lists. It has tables. It kind of really answers the question a lot better than the previous article. I think this chart got a little bit messed up here, but that's fine. Uh, we could always fix that, right? Student life, comparing Georgia law schools to national options, online and part-time law programs, conclusion. So we get a really, really good article here. Like, I think this is very, very in-depth. For the first try, we didn't extend the article or expand the article. This is just the first, first article that we got back from Sonnet. So just from a bird's eye view, I like Sonnet, um, the article that we're getting back here, compared to GPT-4. Now let's actually go ahead and do some tests. So the first test that I did was we tested the SEO score. And this SEO score here is 78. So this is actually using Sonnet. So right off the bat, without doing any further optimizations, we had a 78 out of 100, which is really, really good. We can always go ahead and then um, reformat, or sorry, add in any of these keywords if we like to do so. But this is a really, really good sign that we're able to write SEO optimized content using Sonnet. And it will follow those instructions because it did include those, um, those titles and those H1 tags. We got a 78 when using Sonnet, and we got a 69 when using GPT-40. So same prompts, same instructions, but we've got a 69 instead of a 78, which is a pretty considerable difference, right? So I would say just from the SEO test, Sonnet is also performing better in terms of actually following the instructions, including those keywords when we tell it to do so. We also ran some other tests. We tested the readability, and for both of the articles, we got a grade 10 readability, which is actually pretty good. So we got grade 10. Um, I would preferably want something like grade 8 or grade 9, but grade 10 isn't bad. With a little bit of prompting, we can probably get this down to grade 9. So that was for the SEO score, and that was for the readability score. So again, SEO score 78 for Sonnet, 69 for GPT-40, grade 10 for both. In terms of AI detection, both of these were detected as AI, so none of these tools pass AI. I kind of expected that to be so. In terms of format and links, Again, I think Sonnet does a really, really good job. If I had to rate it, I would say it's more of an 8 out of 10 or even a 9 out of 10 compared to GPT-4 being like a 5 out of 10 in terms of formatting and links. Overall quality, again, I'm going to have to go with um, Sonnet. I think it's great. I think we're getting really, really good quality content. Um, while again, GPT-4, I think it's a, a little bit lack. It's good. It's not bad by any means. Um, but when we compare it to Sonnet, Sonnet is just a little bit better, right? Like this is not a bad article, but I would like some more information here. Like it just seems a little bit um, lacking some more information. Like I, I would just want this article to be a little bit longer, more in depth and really trying to answer and give as most as information as possible when it comes to this topic here. Because when we really look at the article that we get back from Sonnet, again, you can clearly see that this just seems to be a more full article. 
And what you can always do is, and I'll probably do it for a test in this video, we'll actually go ahead and expand the articles just to see what, um, how long we can kind of get these articles to be. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to expand the article using GP4O. And then we're also going to expand the article again using Sonnet. So this is the full article that we got back, the expanded article from GPT-40. As you can see, it is a little bit longer. That's for sure. It just kind of expanded on the content. Let's actually see exactly how long this content is. So this is about 1500 words. So it actually really didn't expand it that much compared to the original article. Again, that's the issue sometimes with GPT-40. It's a hit or miss. It could be really, really good. Sometimes it just doesn't follow instructions while Claude seems to just always follow instructions. It doesn't really um, hallucinate and it's much more consistent in giving you the outputs in which you're looking for. So it actually stopped writing. So I think it started from, yep, it stopped from student organization. So let's go ahead and paste that in here. So here's the full article that we get back from Sonnet. Again, as you can see, just a beast of an article. 3,800 words about law schools in Georgia. Like this is an awesome article. I would be very, very confident to post this article on my website. And I would be very confident for readers to read this article because you can see how in-depth it is, right? We would probably need to add some images, some internal links, external links, you know, simple stuff. But this is a really, really good article, right? Knox GPT-40 out of the water in terms of this specific example. So again, I would recommend that you guys try Claude if you haven't used it before. If you want to use my SEO prompts, I will leave it in description below today's video. But as you can see, there's a clear winner in this specific case. Um, Sonnet definitely wins in terms of the AI um, writing output. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.